So I'm here in Cannes with Liza Johnson, the director of Return, which is the story of a woman who comes home to her town in Ohio after serving in a war abroad. And um, and to tell us a little bit about your film, Liza. Um, it's a it's a character drama. It stars Linda Cardellini, who is quite wonderful in the main role. Um, it's um, she's pretty much in every scene, so it's a really big. Um, it stays very close to the perspective of the main character. And um, Michael Shannon plays her husband, and um, John Slattery also plays a significant role. And um, uh, what Good. else can okay. I tell you? Right. Um, well, we, we were here talking today about how there were no women directors in Cannes last year at the festival, which raised a bit of a ruckus. And this year, there's a lot of women directors, and you are one of them, uh, both in competition and in the various other sections of the mm -hmm. festival. Um, are you uh, are, are you aware of that? And sort of, do you, are you aware of being kind of one of a, a new group of women who this is your first film? I should also mm -hmm. add. Um, what is that like? Because I know you had a conversation with a number of women filmmakers yesterday. Um, yeah, I had a great conversation with uh, three actresses who I thought were all really lovely and smart. Um, and I, I feel really excited. Uh, a lot of the filmmakers who inspire me are women. I, not only, but uh, for example, some of the big loves of my intellectual life have actually been French women. Um, Such like as? The, Claire Denis or Catherine Breillat have mm -hmm. both been, you know, people who really move me. And um, a lot of the films that I've seen recently that are really good are films by women, like um, *Pariah* by Dee Rees and *Attenberg* by um, Athena. Sakara, do, do you feel you bring a, a different perspective to filmmaking as a woman, or 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 if this is just a, a perspective that's been that's in, individual to each woman and, and just somehow has been has been ignored for some reason? I think it's individual, but I think that it is um, useful. Like you were telling me that women last year sort of kicked up a fuss because there were no women included in the festival. And I, I think that to be able to um, approach that collectively is really useful and important. And, um, and then beyond that, I do think probably people who make films all have their own eccentric perspective. And um, probably most of the things that we all think is influenced by like if we're a woman or where we come from and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm sure that's true, but I don't know if there's any core organic phenomenon about women's cinema or something like that. Well, the story that you're telling in your film is a very interior story. It's not sort of an, an, an obviously war story, um, although certainly Catherine Bigelow made a, a war movie about Iraq that, um, you know, was both a very a tough and violent and aggressive movie, but also had you know, deep kind of deep emotional message in it as well. Is there something about telling a more interior story that you think it, uh, a woman is more inclined to do? And also, your your protagonist is a woman. Mm -hmm. um, you said she's has like is in every frame. I guess you said yeah. of the film. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, there's definitely things that happen to that character that would happen differently if her character were a man. Um, I do think that there's a wonderful history of um, fiction where you know writers and filmmakers have empathy for people who are unlike them you know so I, I am a woman but I'm not exactly like that character and I, I I have to believe that there's some possibility to empathetically reach across the gap of people who are not exactly like you and um, you know I think there's men who've made really beautiful films about women and vice versa mm -hmm. you uh, when you were trying to raise uh, money for this film you told a, an interesting <laughs> reaction that someone uh, shared with you when you said you wanted to make this film, and they said they'd already made a film? They said they already had a film. Uh, they said on their slate there was already a film with a woman that year, and so they couldn't do my film. That's true. Um, and I, I guess I mentioned it to you because uh, for that reason, I can understand why women are can be uh, feel like that there's not... Um, I'm sorry, I'm being so inarticulate. No, <laughs> Can you're, I start you're over? great. Can I start uh, over sure. Okay. Yeah, sure, of course. Um, I did have that experience once of someone telling me that they couldn't finance my film because they were already doing a film with a woman that year. And um, it made me understand why women might feel reluctant to, um, you know, see themselves as a category or a group. There's something that can be ghettoizing like that. 
or even why women might be inclined to feel competitive with one another if the, if we're going to be you know mm -hmm. treated like oh we're already we already have a woman this year um but I still think that um, there are an awful lot of women who are managing to make films, and I think that um, for me and for my friends and colleagues, it's been a more successful approach to just try to be supportive of each other and not try to think that there's only room in this town for one of us. Great. Okay, Liza, thank you so much. Good thank luck you. with your film. Thank you.